For the first part of this test, we will be using the Presidium Diamond Mate A to separate stones that give a positive diamond reading, which will move into the green diamond area with a beep. This is indicative that the stone could possibly be a natural diamond, a lab grown diamond, or a moissanite. This is because they have similar thermal conductivity. For diamond simulants such as colorless sapphires, they will appear within the similar range. And for cubic zirconias, there will be no reaction at all. To get started, you will need a stone rest and a pair of tweezers. So I have five stones on my tray and I will separate the stones as simulants on my right side and stones that give a positive diamond reading on my left. So first, we'll place the stones on the stone rest. Now, we will perform a test on these stones with the Diamond Mate A. Fully depress the probe tip onto the table of the stone. A green LED with a beep is indicative that the stone is a diamond, lab grown diamond or moissanite and I will place it to my left. This is indicative that the stone is a colorless sapphire and a diamond simulant, which I will place to my right. No reaction indicates that the stone is a diamond simulant and a cubic zirconia. As we have correctly ID'd the stones on my right as diamond simulants, it is not necessary really to perform a test with RE. For the next test, we will use RE by Presidium to help separate natural diamonds from potential lab grown diamonds and moissanites. To perform a test, fully depress the probe tip onto the table of the stone. A diamond reading suggests that the stone is a natural diamond. A moissanite reading suggests that a stone is a moissanite. A CVD HPHD type 2A reading suggests that the stone is a potential lab grown diamond and requires further testing. Here is how to perform a test on mounted stones or jewelry.